that is based on the greedy paradigm so first of all we would like to know what is the half in coding is basically so it is a kind of coding technique where we can just uh, yeah, compress a particular file so that its size can be reduced and that reduced file uh, can be used accordingly like if you want to uh, mail that and send that over a network and if you want to store that then rather than storing the original file what we can do we can simply store the encoded file so the using the huffman coding we can simply compress a file so it is a technique to compress the data very effectively like the effectiveness in the case of huffman coding will be 20% to 90% the compression using the huffman coding is lossless means no information is lost and when we simply decompress the file then we can get the original file as it is as it was originally saving the space so these are some of the benefits of the main coding like we can store the compressed file instead of the original file transmitting files or the data means send the compressed data to save transmission time and power and uh, encryption and decryption so means uh, when uh, means simply we are just encrypting this file or encoding this file then nobody is able to see this file without a particular key so in the case of encryption and decryption the encryption is done by using a key and uh, decryption is again uh, is performed by using another key so in this case if we are doing the huffman coding then that key in the decryption process will be the huffman tree okay so these are the three benefits of the huffman coding like it will save space in storing the file it will uh, reduce the size so that transmission of the file over the network will be uh, very easy in terms of the time and the power okay and uh, if uh, like we are doing the encryption so it is not possible to any to just open that file and use that because it will not be decrypted without using the particular key now what is this key i will tell you in some later slide so what is what can be the main idea and what can be the idea for the huffman coding means how can we simple um, encode a particular file so like we can understand it by one simple example suppose we are having this file and we are assuming like this we are assuming okay it is not so like we can assume like this file contains only six characters so these are the characters this file contains now what we will do we simply find out the frequencies of these characters in this particular file let's assume the frequencies frequencies means occurrence of a particular character in the particular file so how many number of time that character is occurring in the file that is the frequency so this is the frequency of e that is uh, e is occurring in this file 10000 times this is the frequency of a it is occurring in the file 4000 times like c it is occurring 300 times and so on so these are the frequencies of the character in this particular file now how these frequencies can be utilized in the encoding process so basically we are having three options suppose in the option 1 we are not doing any type of compression so we are not doing any type of compression and let's assume each character is requiring one byte or eight bits for the storage purpose okay what we are assuming here each character will require one byte or the eight bits for the storage purpose so here we are having like we simply do the summation operation then these are the 4 14 14700 uh, characters are here and each character is requiring eight bits so total requirement will be 47000 uh, 14700 multiplied by 8 means total uh, space requirement like 117600 bits So this will be the case when we are not doing any type of compression operation okay now let's assume we are doing some kind of compression and the first compression technique is six size compression now what is the meaning of this six size compression so basically in the case of six size compression uh, when we simply compress a particular file then uh, for each character we will assign a fixed length of pattern like you can see in this diagram for e we have assigned this pattern 000 a001 okay because we are having only six characters so we can represent them by using the three bit pattern okay 
so like we are approaching the e by triple zero a by zero zero one c by this and n by triple one so every character is assigned of six size pattern so we have six characters so we need three bit to encode them so the total file size will be 14700 that is the total number of characters multiply by 3 that is 44100 you can see the difference here without the compression the file size is so large and after the compression by using the fixed size compression technique the size is 44100 bit so size is reduced okay so in the case of half min encoding we will not do this fixed size compression for that purpose we are having another third option that is the option number third that is huffman compression so basically humpress uh, this huffman compression is basically based on the variable length compression technique now what is the meaning of this variable length in the previous slide we have seen the fixed length the fixed fixed size or fixed length means every bit pattern will have a fixed size for every character like 3 bits for this 3 bit for this 3 bit for this but in the case of variable length compression we simply assign each character a different size pattern okay like e will have a different size pattern a will have a different size pattern t will have a different size pattern and so on okay now what we will do uh, when we are just simply applying the greedy approach in the huffman compression then we simply assign the shorter code to more frequent character and longer code to less frequent character like frequency of this capital e is 10000 and frequency of n is 100 only so if we simply uh, assign it a shorter code then the space requirement will be less and if we assign these the longer code okay so it will be beneficial basically so the greedy part in this particular huffman compression is we will assign the shorter code to the most frequent character and longer code to the uh, less frequent characters so this is the approach which will be used in the huffman compression so i hope like uh, the uh, this uh, difference is clear to you all what is the variable length compression and what is the fixed length compression so it suppose now if we are using this variable length compression then uh, like assume we can doing this only assumption this is the assumption only okay it is not the actual huffman compression technique So assume like uh, in the Huffman encoding, we are assigning this e, or uh, representing by zero, a by one zero, c by one one zero, t by triple one zero, k by this and n by this. Then if we simply find out the total storage space requirement, then the requirement for e will be of one bit and its occurrence is ten thousand. So total requirement will be ten thousand multiplied by one. plus requirement for a is of two digit two bits and its occurrence is 4000 so it will be 4000 multiplied by 2 and so on for the other characters as well so the total size requirement for the whole file if we are doing like in this way we are just uh, assigning each character a, a different size pattern then in that case it will be 20700 bits so it will not so in the case of huffman encoding like we are just assuming like suppose we are representing the e by this and this means every character is represented by a different size pattern then the requirement the memory requirement is reduced so the memory requirement we can see in the no compression then the requirement is 117600 bits and in the fixed size compression it is 44100 bits and in this case of huffman compression or we can say where variable length compression the requirement is 20700 bits so its size is reduced by a big factor okay so now let's see what is the basically concept of the huffman encoding and before that let's understand what is the encoding and decoding process so a variable length coding for characters means in the greedy approach we will provide more frequent characters the shorter codes and less frequent characters the longer code okay so it is not like the as ascii code where all characters have the same coding length that is of 8 bits so if we simply provide 8 bit to every character then you can assume like uh, what will be the size of the particular file it will be increased enormously so here we are having two main question like what is what will be the encoding process and what will be the decoding process means how we will be able to assign 
uh, shorter codes to the most frequent character uh, characters and longer code to the less frequent character so what will be that encoding process and uh, after encoding a particular file how we can simply decode that file by using the decoding process so the question is what is the encoding process and what will be the decoding process and how it can happen so let's assume in the case of fixed length code so decoding in the case of fixed length code will be very easier like suppose we are representing each character by a 3 bit pattern so e by this 000 a by this 001 c by this 010 you can see here we have provided each character a fixed length pattern okay so if we simply uh, uh, do the here uh, suppose this is the basically uh, sorry this is the encoded uh, text or the string so we can start from here as uh, each character is having three bit pattern so we, what will we do, uh, what we will do we can simply uh divide this pattern into 3 bit 3 bit pattern like we'll separate the uh, this string into 3 3 bits like 0 1 0 0 0 1 0 and from here we can uh, uh, find out the meaning of 0 1 0 so 0 1 0 is c here 0 0 1 is a here so c a and 1 0 0 is t here c a t and so on so encoding and decoding in case of the fixed size compression is very easy because we know like uh, how to divide the particular encoded string or the encoded pattern for decoding for the decoding purpose but when we are doing the variable length encoding like we are assigning e to 0 sorry 0 to e and uh, representing a by 00 representing c by 001 then in that case uh, what is the meaning of this means how can simply decode it like it can have several meanings here it can have a meaning triple ec ec aec and can have several other meanings also so decoding in case of this variable length uh, encoding is not very easy because we don't know like which bit is representing which character so for this purpose of main encoding guarantees to avoid this uncertainty and always have a single decoding means we can uh, will not uh, receive uh, more than one type of uh, codes and the ordinal string when we simple using uh, when we simply using the half mine encoding now let's see what is this half mine encoding is this so the half mine algorithm is basically divided uh, into four steps the first step is finding the frequencies of the characters so first of all what we will do in the step first we will scan the file to be comprised and count the occurrences of each character uh, like i have given an example in the first or second slide the frequency of each character so in this first step we will scan the file that is uh, to be comprised and we uh, we simply find out the occurrence of each character in that file and after that we will sort the character based on their uh, frequency so we will sort the characters based on their frequency uh, in ascending order so this will be the first step now in the second step we build a tree and assign the codes so build a tree means we build a huffman code tree that is a binary tree basically and after creating the huffman code tree okay and the main greedy approach will be applied during the creation of the huffman code tree we will see it how and after creating the huffman code tree what we will do we simply traverse the tree to assign the codes we will traverse the tree to assign the codes we will see the process in the next slide so after creating a tree and after assigning the codes what is the next step the next step is we'll do the encoding process or the compression basically so what is this basically scan the original file again and replace each character by its code that is the encoding process and after encoding when there is a requirement to decode then we will perform the decoding operation so that is the decoding operation or the decompression operation 
so hoffman tree is the key to decompress the file basically so i have told you earlier like uh, the encryption process or the decryption uh, decryption process will require some kind of key that is uh, so without the key it is not possible for any uh, one to read that particular file means i have encoded a particular uh, text or a file okay and converted into an another form or we can say that is non readable form so that can be read only with the help of a particular key so in the case of hoffman algorithm this particular key is the hoffman tree so these are the four steps i'm repeating again uh, calculating the frequencies by scanning the file to be compressed and count the occurrences of each character then we will simply sort the characters based on their frequency in ascending order the step number 2 will build the hoffman tree and assign the code by traversing the tree we will assign the code in the third step we will perform the encoding operation or the compression operation by scanning the file and in the step number 4 we can simply decompress or uh, we uh, can sim we simply decompress and decode the encoded message and the key will be the hoffman tree in that case to decompress the file so these are the four steps which will be used in the hoffman algorithm so let's understand each step one by one what is the meaning of each step here so the step number 1 getting the frequency so let's suppose we are having this input file are are you seen near lake so you can see here we are having several different different characters here so we'll find uh, list each character and find out the frequency so for we can say capital e the frequency is 1 The small e, the frequency is eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And small r frequency is two. For i, the frequency is one. For space, the frequency is four, like this one, this one, this one, and this one. Okay. And for dot, full stop frequency is one. For k, frequency is one. So these are the different different frequencies of the different different characters present in this particular text. Okay. so after calculating the frequencies what is the next step the next step is arranging these frequencies in the increasing order of their occurrence increasing order of their frequency so we will arrange these characters in the increasing order so i'll show you i will show you how we simply arrange the characters in increasing order so in the second step now after arranging them in the increasing order we build the hoffman tree and after building the tree we will assign the code so hoffman tree is nothing but a binary tree in which each character is a leaf node so initially each node is a separate root so what is the meaning of this so basically like suppose we are having two files uh, the character small e suppose its frequency is 1 and k its frequency is 1 so we are having these two characters here with the frequency so what we will do after arranging all the characters in the increasing order we will select the two characters with the least frequency and merge them so let's suppose the two characters are these so uh, uh, like initially these are the separate nodes after merging them we will have a new node with the frequency 2 so this is the merging process so every time we will select two least frequency nodes and we simply merge them okay so this is the greedy approach here and now what is the meaning of uh, Uh, this basically greedy approach in the case of hoffman encoding the logic part is here uh, the less frequent characters if we simply choose the less frequent character first in the merging process and the creation of the tree then we will get the larger codes for these uh, less frequent character because they will be at the leaf node and they will be uh, further to the root node so Uh, you, you people will be understand it by seeing the creation of the hoffman tree and we will simply labeling the edges by some kind of pattern so initially each node is a separate root like i have just shown you the k frequency 1 the e frequency 8 so these are having the separate root okay now at each step select two roots with the smallest frequency and connect them to a new parent okay so this is the greedy choice here select two roots with the smallest frequency and connect them to a new parent node so so the parent will get the sum of the frequencies of the two child nodes now we need to repeat the whole process 
until there is a single root or the single root node means all the files uh, will be merged and we will have a single tree with a single root so let us understand it by this example here these are the different different characters with their frequency now we can simply sort them in the ascending order and we can see here the frequency of e is 1 frequency of i is 1 frequency of y is 1 okay frequency of l is 1 k is 1 and so on so it may be possible like i am just selecting the e at the first place so uh, the huffman tree and the coding can be different different It depends on like which alphabet you are selecting uh, first okay so the frequency this square bracket is showing the space it is the full stop its frequency is 1 space frequency is 4 small is frequency is 8 so we have arranged all of them in the ascending order of their frequency now what to do next select the two least frequency nodes or the root and merge them and after the merging we will get a new node so place that node in the list at its appropriate place so like suppose we have selected this e1 and i1 it is a frequency e and i so after merging e and i we will get a root with two frequency so what can we do we simply put it at the end after the two so you can see here it is the two here so we'll put it here so let's see what happened like this so we will have this list after the merging process again choose two least frequency characters with the least uh, least uh, frequency y and l so we will have a new root after merging these two so we can simply put it after this one we will get a tree like this then we again choose two characters k1 and dot1 so these will be merged and we will get another merge tree rooted at two so this two will be placed after these all twos here this we are having two characters with the frequency 2 and the frequency 2 rns after the merging process we will have this merge tree frequency of r is 2 frequency of s is 2 and it is 4 the merge uh, root is 4 we will place this 4 in the list means we will after the merging process we will place all the newly formed tree into the proper place in the list this is the list basically or we can say list of the trees or list of the roots so this is the scenario and after that we are having these two minimum and 2 and a2 so we can simply merge them 2 2 and it is 4 we can simply place it here then 2 2 so e1 i1 y1 l1 so we can just merge them so we will get a tree of root 4 so we can place this tree here we will have a this kind of tree then 2 uh, this is uh, this one and this one so we will have a tree like this with root is 6 so 2 k and it is 4 so we will place it uh, at this place then 4 4 what we can do we can simply merge them so this will be the merged tree 8 4 4 it is r s n a and just place it after this e now we are having this scenario so now we can take these two least cost root 4 and 6 and after the merging operation we will get a this kind of tree okay that is tan so tan will come here we will have e 8 4 and tan so after merging these two we will get a this kind of tree so in the merging case what you need to do like uh, just create a new node cost 8 plus set that will be 16 so this will be the new tree so it is not a very complicated process just create a new node we create it do the summation of the roots so 8 plus set 16 and attach one is left one is right okay and just place it at the end So after this, we will have two trees, one with root 10, one with root 16. We can simply merge them. So we will have a new root with the cost 26. So 26 is basically the total number of uh, characters in the particular string or the particular input. So here in that particular string, there are 26 number of characters here. So this will be the R tree 
after this will be the hoffman tree after the merging process okay so now let's analyze this particular tree all the characters are at the leaf node so you can see here this is the leaf node leaf node leaf node these are the leaf node this is the leaf node and this is the leaf node so all in the case of hoffman tree created hoffman tree all the characters will be at the root node first thing is this okay next thing the number at the root is the number of characters in the file that is 26 so ye maine bata diya aapko ke the input file will uh, is having 26 characters okay the high frequency characters that is e are near the root and low frequency characters are far from the root so this is the greedy approach here we have utilized so you can see here uh, we want that the high frequency codes will have the sorry low frequency uh, the high frequency codes will have the shorter patterns and the low frequency uh, codes will have the larger pattern a larger bit pattern okay so now how this can happen like how can we assign the uh, most frequent characters the short pattern and the i can say uh, less frequent characters a uh, long pattern so how it can happen so we will simply label the edges of the tree by traversing it from the root so we need to this one thing any left is label 0 and the right is label 1 and the code for each character or the pattern for each character is its root to leaf level sequence now let's see this this is the left it means 0 it is 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 it is 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 every left is 0 every right is 1 So you can see here it is the labeling and now we want to find out the code for each character when the code for each character is its root to leaf label sequence means from starting the root like if i want to find out the uh, code for the capital e then it will be 0000 so for capital e it will be 0000 for small i it will be 000 and 1 0000 and 1 and for small e it is 10 and for uh, space it is uh, 011 it is 011 so you can see here the uh, frequency of small e is higher that is 8 but it is it receives a smaller code and the frequency of e is very small as compared to capital e is small as compared to small e so its code is 4 times 0 so the most frequent character get the smaller code and the less frequent character get the larger code so in this approach this is the greedy approach and in this way we can simply reduce the size of our particular compressed file now let's assign the code to each character so these are the characters and these are the assigned codes like e will be 4 times 0 i will be 0001 so karna kya hai just start from the root node and uh, read the labels so like for k it for this k it will be 0 1 0 1 so for k it is 0 1 0 okay so we have prepared a coding table for each of the character from the hoffman tree now the first two steps has been completed so now in the step number third the encoding process and the step number number four is the decoding or the decompression process then the step number third the encoding process what we will do we will simply scan this file and uh, write the code of that particular file uh, write the code of that particular character like for uh, starting from e so for e it is 4 times 0 so we are having 4 times 0 for small e it is 10 uh, so we is 10 for r it is 1100 so it is r double one sorry not r for it is i it is 0001 r ka to ho gaya yahan pe r ka tha 1100 it is 1100 and uh, for e again it is 10 and it is the space it is 011 to yahan aa jayega 011 and so on so in this way we can sim we will simply find out the encoded output so this is the input and this is the coding table and by using this we will find out the compressed data 
what are the encoded data so we uh, there is no particular type of prefix or any other coding here to ensure the decoding will be unique now the decoding process is for the decoding process we must have the encoded file plus the coding tree so jo hamari isme string thi encoded wali and the coding tree so we need both of them now what is the encoding decoding process scan the encoded file for zero move left in the tree so means we will start from the root of the tree and we will start reading the encoded file one bit they just move if it is zero then move left it is one then move right okay and uh, until reach a leaf node emit the character and go back to the root so jaise hi hum leaf node pe pahunch jayenge to kya karenge we will simple print that particular character and again go back to the root and continue reading the encoded file so let's see how this will happen this is the string this is the tree so 0 0 okay let's start from here 0 0 0 and 0 so it is e then again now 1 0 1 0 it is small e then 1 1 0 0 it is r triple 0 1 means 0 0 0 and 1 it is i okay and 1 0 it is again e like this you can see here we have generated the original file so the decoding process or the decompression process required two inputs first one is the encoded string or the file and second one is the half entry and i think it is a very easy procedure just read the string from left to right and by using this particular tree just write down the characters one by one so these are the four steps getting the frequency and arranging them in increasing order building the of entry and assigning the labels encoding process and the decoding process so these are uh, two important formulas here for find out the uh, finding out the average code length per character so the average code length per character will be uh, summation of frequencies multiplied by code length means frequency of that particular uh, character into its code length plus frequency of another character into that code length and that will be divided by uh, summation of the frequencies of all the characters okay so uh, okay and uh, the total number of bits that is required in the encoded message will be total number of characters in the message मल्टीप्लाई बाय एवरेज कोड लेंथ पर करेक्टर ये चीज अगर हमको ये मालूम करना है लाइक हाउ मेनी नंबर ऑफ बिट्स इन दैट पर्टिकुलर हाउस मैन इन कोडेड मैसेज देन इट इज द टोटल नंबर ऑफ करेक्टर्स इन द मैसेज मल्टीप्लाई बाय एवरेज कोड लेंथ पर करेक्टर व्हिच इज कैलकुलेटेड हियर सो लेट्स सपोज वी आर हैविंग दिस प्रॉब्लम अ फाइल कंटेन्स द फॉलोइंग करेक्टर्स विद द फ्रीक्वेंसीज लाइक if the huffman encoding is used for data compression then determine the huffman code for each character average code length we can uh, find out this by formula and length of huffman encoded message so these two formulas can be used for calculating the these last two questions last two points and uh, huffman code it can be calculated from the huffman tree so we are having these characters we are having the, uh, their frequencies so by using these characters and frequencies we will create a huffman tree so this is the huffman tree for this uh, for these characters so now we will do the labeling so labeling isme kar rakhi hai for any left is 0 for any right is 1 0 1 0 1 so we will calculate from here the code for every character so code for a will be triple 1 e 1 0 i 0 0 and o 11001 u 1101 and so on so from here we can observe like what we can observe here characters occurring less frequently in the text are assigned the larger code like o t u and characters occurring more frequently in the text are assigned the smaller code like a e i s this is the use of the huffman coding 
so we have calculated the code for each character now we need to find out the average code length so it's formula is uh, summation of frequency of i multiplied by code length of i divided by total frequency so suppose for a uh, a frequency 10 e frequency 15 so our bit length is 3 and 2 so 10 into 3 15 into 2 so this one is the frequency of a and it, it is the code length this one is the frequency of a and uh, it is the code length and so on so in this way we can calculate the average code length that is 2.52 now if we want to find out the length of the huffman encoded message so the length of a huffman encoded message is total number of characters in the message multiply by average code length per character ye humne last usme find out kiya and this is the total number of character so 58 multiplied by 2.52 so it will be 146.16 that is the length of the huffman encoded message means around it is 147 bits okay so this is all about the huffman encoding how we have applied the greedy approach how we have calculated or find out the huffman tree then labeling then encoding process and decoding process